The parable of the fig tree, found in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, offers a rich source of reflection and moral instruction. Let's explore this parable, especially focusing on its presentation in Luke chapter 13 verse 6 9. Jesus narrates a story of a man with a fig tree planted in his vineyard. When he came seeking fruit on it and found none, he said to the vine dresser, For three years now I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and I find none. Cut it down. Why should it use up the ground? But the vine dresser answered him, Sir, let it alone this year also, until I dig around it and put on manure. Then if it should bear fruit next year, well and good, but if not, you can cut it down. The owner of the vineyard is initially impatient and demands the unproductive tree be cut down. However, the gardener, symbolizing mercy and patience, asks for more time to nurture the tree. This interaction highlights the virtue of patience and the willingness to give someone or something a second chance to improve or succeed. The gardener's commitment to dig around the tree and fertilize it represents the efforts and interventions required to facilitate growth and productivity. This can be seen as a metaphor for how we, as individuals or communities, should nurture and support each other's growth through education, encouragement, and spiritual sustenance. Giving the fig tree a final chance to produce fruit emphasizes the concept of divine judgment, balanced by the opportunity for redemption and change. It's a call to self-examination and repentance, emphasizing that transformation is possible with time and care. The fig tree holds significant symbolism in various religious and cultural contexts, including Christianity. There is also a notable account of Jesus and the fig tree that conveys important lessons of faith, growth, and fruitfulness. According to the Gospel of Mark, Jesus came across a barren fig tree on his way to Jerusalem. He approaches the tree, expecting to find fruit, but discovers that it bears no figs. In response, Jesus curses the tree, causing it to wither and die. This incident may seem puzzling at first, but it carries profound spiritual meaning. In Mark 11, the fig tree has no fruit because it was not the season for figs. If it was out of season, why would Jesus look for fruit on a tree knowing it wasn't the season for bearing fruit? The truth could be that it has no figs despite it being in season. The fig tree is a symbol of our spiritual lives. Just as Jesus expected to find fruit on the tree, God desires to see fruitfulness in our lives as well. This fruitfulness represents the manifestation of our faith through acts of love, kindness, and obedience to God's will. The barren fig tree symbolizes a lack of spiritual productivity or the absence of genuine faith. It serves as a reminder that we are called to bear fruit in our relationship with God and in our interactions with others. We are called to live out our faith, not merely profess it. A life marked by the fruit of the Spirit should follow naturally from a sincere faith in God. The fig tree was barren because it lacked growth and development. Similarly, we must continually nurture our relationship with God, seeking spiritual growth through prayer, studying the scriptures, and engaging in acts of service. Jesus's curse upon the fig tree illustrates the consequences of a fruitless life. When we fail to bear fruit and neglect our spiritual development, we risk spiritual stagnation and estrangement from God. Through his words, Jesus's ability to wither the fig tree demonstrates the power of faith and prayer. It reminds us that through a genuine and active faith, we can overcome obstacles and see God's transformative power at work in our lives. It challenges us to examine the state of our faith and encourages us to cultivate a vibrant and fruitful relationship with God. May we strive to be like the healthy fig tree, producing the fruits of the Spirit and glorifying God in all that we do. As you ponder the parable of the fig tree, consider what fruit you are producing in your own life. Are there areas where perhaps you've been unproductive or where additional nurturing might increase your effectiveness? Like the fig tree, each of us needs care and attention, sometimes even a second chance. This story encourages not only personal growth but also patience and support for others in their own journeys. God's grace often gives us additional opportunities for growth and transformation, which we are called to respond to with renewed commitment and vigor. Thank you for watching this video. Please press the like button, smash the subscribe button, share, and leave a comment.